Hey everyone, this is Jay from Dark Wolf Knives. This here's a little quick video of my uh, new burner working. Uh, basically, it's for Tom, sorry. Uh, let's see if I can. There's the burner sticking right here. It's a uh, very simple design. Let's see if I can get the camera over here. Alright. Alright, there's the burner. It's nothing more than a three quarter inch pipe that goes up to a flare that goes to one and a half inch. Or one and a quarter, one and a half. And then a piece of quarter inch tube going through it with a jet hole cut in it. And over here it's got a sorry got an adapter with the hose going down here to the, to the tank with the regulator so let's try to light this thing up and see how well this works there let's see where are we at Propane torch. Turn on the gas. Turn on the regulator. Well, let's turn this fucker on first. Yeah, that's lit. Let's see how well this works. Right now the flame's coming out at kind of an angle just because of the way the tube is shoved in there. Ooh, that's cooking. That thing gets hot fast. Let's set that in there for a second or two. I don't know how well this is going to come out on the camera and stuff.
can't remember what they're called. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I just feel so stupid now. Uh, whatever these things here are called. <laughs> I can't remember the freaking life in me what the hell are called. Anyways, they're heavy as hell, and the knife out there on the front. How nice and hop that's gotten so far so quick. This forge works awesome. Well, the new burner works awesome. This forge here is probably going to burn up in a few days. I managed to, uh, heat treat five knives today and only took me about 20 to 30 minutes total time usually it would take me about oh an hour hour and a half to do one knife and I'd use one of those bottles right there the propane I'd use about half to three quarters of one of those bottles to do one knife this thing here I got hooked up to a I guess I assume it's a five gallon tank and it uses, I don't know, it seems to use fairly little, fairly little gas that heats so fast. I mean, the shop in here, this whole garage is about, I don't know, it's about the equivalent of a two car garage and there's no insulation or anything like that. And it's just wood frame and shit and it's running this little forge right here, which is basically two coffee cans put together end to end. It uh, heats up the shop here in about five or ten minutes. And it's now it's about 50 or 60 degrees temperature in here. Outside it's 36 or 38 degrees today, and it's got I think wind speeds are between 60 and 75 miles an hour. It is freaking cold outside. It looks pretty warm. It looks a lot oranger when it's not on camera. Is uh, sorry about that. It's a piece of 5160 uh, spring steel. It's a big dagger. Get that heated up a little closer to the guard. See the flame coming out of there now in blue. That's what's coming out of the three-quarter inch burner tube. And that burner is so simple to make. The parts were so damn expensive right now. I went to the hardware store yesterday and got the adapter, that little tiny brass adapter for the hose fitting right there that goes between the gas hose and the and the pipe fitting was like $4 or something like that, close to that.
going to take it out and I will I think it's on fire stick it back in the forge and I will do this two more times So I will be back to you in a few. Well, here we are. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, shit. But there's a uh, uh, hardness number three. So triple hardened 5160. Big ass freaking dagger. Next, it needs to go into the house, into the uh, oven at uh, about 400, 425 degrees for about two hours. let that cool down in the oil for a while. And it is warm in there. I should hook up my freaking probe to that and see exactly how hot that is in there right now. But you it's freaking smoking and cook a pizza pretty damn quick. <laughs> Alright everyone. Y'all take care. Have a good night now. Thanks for watching.